Hey YouTube, it's Mike from Osmo Reptile Removal. Going to do a uh, colubrid update today. Um, I'm going to start right up top here. Let's bring it over. He's uh, kind of going into brumation, so I don't want to bother him too much. But this is my male king. He's an eastern king. Male, he's about five or six hundred grams. He's a breeding size, but the female that's going to go with him is not. Um, I'll show the female real fast. Here's the female. She's only about 90 grams. Alright, and then we got our corns. This is my anery striped female. Ooh, a little dirty. Just clean her too. There she is. She's about 300 grams. She should go this season. I'm going to put her too. She's actually het for a bunch of things also. So she's an anery stripe female. And she's het for 100% het hypo, 66% het caramel, and 50% het amelianistic. So she's going to go with this boy here, who is my... Hypo Motley. So I'm hoping to get some Hypo Motley Stripes, maybe. Or some head animals that I can breed back to the parents later on. This here, this is what I'm, I just call her a normal Amelia Mystic. So, Amelia Mystic. She, oh, all these animals, 300, 300, 300, this guy here, 300. Now this guy, I call him a sunburst, or sorry, sun-kissed emelianistic. I don't know for sure. I'm going to try to prove out the genetics over the next couple of years. But he's just so much more, I don't know if it's like a, I call it a brighter orange or what, but he's definitely different um, than this female. I'm going to put these two together come March. All right, then I have my big adult breeders that I've been breeding the last few years. These will be their, all of their, probably be their last season. This is, as far as I know, he's just a normal Okatee male. I'm going to breed him to another normal that I know is Het for Amelianistic, just to see if he is anything. And that's this girl here. And she's just a normal 100% het amelianistic. This girl's in shed hardcore, but she's an amelianistic. She will go. She's an amelianistic that's het for annery, and she will go to the snow. As far as I know, he's a normal snow. But the interesting thing about him is he may be the animal that is passing on that sun kissed look so that male here that's going this march that's 300 grams he i call sun kissed meal and i've been calling this daughter who had the same dad that big snow male a sun kissed snow or high pink snow because this is what i'm calling just a regular snow and they're siblings these two females and you can see that difference one's pink and one's white if anyone knows about corn snakes and has a better idea let me know definitely but um, as of right now, I'm calling it the sun kiss gene, which I think is related to some of those people call it the inferno gene. But definitely let me know about that. Um, and then my last colubrids I have are my hog noses. And they this male is 100% double head snow. He's ready to go, about 130 grams. Ooh, he's going to come out and say hi to the camera. This female. <laughs> Watch your hand, babe. He's hungry. This female, she's in shed right now, so she's real dark. She's about an 80 gram female, so she has a, almost 200 grams she still needs to put on. She is 66% um, possible double head snow, and this female is also 66% possible 
possible double head snow. But she's about 80, I think she was 82 grams, and the other female is like 79 grams, so they both have, oh, about 200 grams or so. Ooh, sorry. 200 grams or so to put on before their breeding size, so that male has some time. Um, <clears throat> so that's the Clubrids, King, Eastern Kings, Corn Snakes, Hog Noses. Again, like in my last ball python video, anything I didn't show is a ball python. Um, got a couple locks going up, but check out my ball python update if you want to see that. Um, pan the room real quick, babe. Um, so this is the new reptile room. If you haven't got a good look, I have the racks here. I hope to get, well, I got a whiteboard here. Um, I hope to get another rack soon. That'll be, tubs will be a little bit bigger than these 15 quarts put some of these ball pythons that are growing up into and then move some of the, the colubrids up as well um, and then over here more racks my newspaper holder I use newspaper bedding um, some of my plants that's my bearded dragon then my cork board wall and then right now I have all my ball pythons in the middle of breeding season and that's what this this whiteboard is showing the females and who's locked up with them and when um, so yes yeah, so that's the new reptile room um, as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, let me know uh, that you like it, and let, give me advice, give me comments, love to hear good things, and um, I guess I'll see you guys, you too, out.